Good morning. My name is Haruna Dennis Ibrahim. It's about 7 a.m. here in Kaduna, Nigeria. I am a science researcher. I also have background in sciences, which allows me to sit through technical scientific journals, scientific papers, reviews and pre-reviews that are constantly being published on the internet. I also follow scientists around the world to see what their new discoveries are and how do these discoveries relate to our everyday life. We are in times of extremes, at a time when we are being faced with a pandemic, the COVID-19. This is a time where we must maintain social distancing so as to help reduce the spread of this deadly virus. We must, however, discourage social isolation. This is the time we need each other uh, the most. Even before the COVID-19 crisis, science has it that loneliness is said to be at an increase of over 300% despite social media. That in fact is because of social media that people felt lonelier. We had a time when social uh, validation is measured by the number of likes, followers on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and what have you. We are at a time when we are having astronomical records of over 1.5 million reported cases every year in Nigeria of insomnia. We are at a time when we are being faced with over 1.5 million or more reported cases of Alzheimer every year in Nigeria. The commonest age range of diagnosis of cancer in women is between the ages of 30 to 39 with a percentage of 46. The average age range of diagnosis of cancer in men is between the ages of 50 to 59 with a percentage of 41. And in children is between the ages of 0 to 14 with a percentage of 1. We are also in a time when high vibrational uh, frequencies, radiational frequencies rather, is uh, affecting cells in our bodies, is affecting molecules that our uh, body is made up of. A time when we are being faced with this deadly pandemic, which is increasing at an exponential scale, thereby causing overcrowding in our health, in our healthcare systems uh, across the globe. There is no better time that we are in need of, desperately in need of an alternative source of healing and rejuvenating our body than now because our loss 
line of defense is our immune system, our immune response. And that is what I'll be talking about in the course of this uh, video. You see, according to new science, stress happens to be the leading cause of at least 90% of all ailments known to man today. And that might come as a surprise to some of you. It is, however, true. You see, to be able to understand this, you must first understand how the body and the mind works. You see, for over 300 years or so of uh, Western medicine, conventional medicine, we have been uh, taught to believe that the mind and the body were two separate entities that whatever affected the mind has nothing to do with the body and whatever affected the body has nothing to do with the mind that is why when you are mentally sick mentally ill you go and see the psychiatrist or if you are physically ill sick you go and see the physician because these two believe that and the psychiatrists believe that the mind has nothing to do with uh, whatever affects and the body likewise a physician believes that the body has nothing to do with, the, with whatever affects um, the mind you see there's a behavior uh, that we do and it's a behavior our brain does and this behavior it's called mind wandering and a study was done on mind wandering in Harvard University most of you are familiar with what mind wandering is mind wandering is when you are not paying attention when is either you are uh, reflecting in the past and trying to analyze uh, the future this is a behavior most of us do and according to new science that 90 percent of the day we are operating from our subconscious mind it is only five percent of the time in a day that we are operating from our conscious mind so according to the study that was done in Harvard uh, University on mind wandering that when mind wandering at least 70 percent of our thoughts when mind wandering are usually negative in tone and according to new science also that our beliefs has a lot to do with our everyday experiences and this is what stress uh, does to your body you see the human heart does not only pump blood our heart also generates electromagnetic energy Likewise, our brains, our hearts is 100 times stronger electrically than the human brain. Our heart is also 5,000 times stronger magnetically than the human uh, brain. So this is what happens when you are 
afraid or when you are stressed out because stress is as a result of fear. It is fear that leads to stress. Fear is an emotion. There are two types of emotions. One is love and the other one is fear. I will discuss that in a different uh, video. I will discuss how our beliefs are formed. So what happens is when you are stressed out, when you are afraid, your heart sends signals to your brain. And here is where it gets even more interesting. You see, your the human brain cannot differentiate between the fear of when you are being chased by a lion and the fear of when you're just fabricating uh, thoughts of fear. So what it does is this. It releases chemistries into your blood. Hormones like neuropinephrine, cortisol, and other agents that affect the immune system like histamine cytokines. And the significance of this is to redirect blood through your adrenal gland, uh, to redirect blood into your arms and legs, so as to allow you to run away from that uh, danger, from that fear that's trying to harm you. And this is called the flight or fight mode the flight or fight or the fl flight or fight response this is to allow you to flight to run away or to fight that danger that is trying to harm you and in order to do this you need energy so what the body does is that it shuts down your immune system because your immune system consumes a lot of energy. That is why when you are sick, you tend to feel very weak because your immune system is consuming a lot of energy so as to heal your body. So it is okay to have a fear of let's say 10 minutes to, to 15 minutes to run away from a danger that is trying to harm you. But you can imagine having fabricated thoughts of fear, two, four, seven thoughts of fear. That means you are interfering with your immune response. You see that you're interfering or you are even shutting down your immune response. Two, four, seven. So I will want to teach you ways in which you can reverse this behavior. I'll be posting a video to show you practical experiment because I'm not, I'm not just speaking theory, to show you practical experiments as to how the body and mind are intimately linked. You see, it's only when you don't know how something works that it looks as if it looks like a miracle. But once you get more clarity, it suddenly becomes a technology. So I will be posting this video to show you some of the inbuilt technology that God created our bodies with. You can also reach me via this number. You can also reach me through my uh, social media platforms, which will be displayed on the screen. I wish you all the best. Please 
maintain social distancing. COVID-19 is real. However,